Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and we give you the non-biased information you can use to make informed decisions. And right now, guys, if you have an interest in stacking more Moonbeam, ApeCoin, Aptos, Flow, or Solana, you probably want to hear me out on this video because every one of them have unlocks coming. Not necessarily Solana, they have another issue coming up. So the smart money will not be stacking these projects in the next week or two. That being said, I'm probably going to swing trade at least one or two of these projects. And that'll make sense once we look at the charts and you hear me out. But guys, no matter what the charts might look like or whatever you're thinking about, stacking or dollar cost averaging into these projects just hear me out it might get you a lot better entry points because we're going to go with the probabilities that being said hit that like button and let's get started all right guys if you're not familiar with token unlocks i highly recommend you go there before you buy anything always that's just one of the tools you should be using because, you know, I see a mistake all the time with a lot of people that trade charts. Well, I like stuff to match up. So, for instance, if someone's telling you that there might be a bottom in of any of these projects due to the charts, well, I can almost promise you they didn't calculate that we're in a bear market and that there are unlocks coming. So, if I saw a bullish chart on any of these projects knowing that an unlock is about to happen in a bear market i'm going to short that project or definitely not do anything so that being said then you have ape coin having an unlock and then ape aptos and flow and moonbeam and all of these are coming in like the next week to 10 days. Now, we're going to take a look at all the charts because, guys, we're in a bear market. Nothing good is going on. Bitcoin dominance is going up against every one of these projects. And we're getting to the point where no one can deny that we are in a recession. And it's going to get worse and worse. That being said, these are all quality projects, in my opinion. and you couldn't go wrong probably stacking any of these or dollar cost averaging any of these after the unlocks, which we're going to verify that with the charts. Now, Solana doesn't have an unlock, but it's got an FTX issue that we need to talk about. And if we're lucky, Solana could get hit hard and go back down to the low of this bear market. And that's one I personally will be stacking if that happens anyway guys hit that like button and let's get into what i'm talking about so you got all those unlocks coming and if you look at moonbeam guys which is a great project in my opinion the last 90 days guys it's going straight down now look at the low of the bear market we're pretty much in the low of the bear market actually looks like it's making new lows for the bear market. Guys, it doesn't get any better, better than that. Because when you look at the all-time high, Moonbeam has already been to like $14. And right now, without the unlock, and it's getting a little pop today, you're looking at, what is that, 17 cents, guys. That's a massive upside now i'm not going to get into the tokenomics or anything but moonbeam might be a project that i look to swing trade once the unlock happens buy it and just wait for the dead cow cat bounce or any good news whatsoever you could easily get you know uh, a 1x or something like that eight coin i personally think that eight coin is going to be a legendary project when it's all said and done. I'm talking about a, a project that is up up there, like with 
Batman and the Disney characters. I really do. I believe the Bored Apes and uh, this project is going to be absolutely a legendary world beater project. That being said, it has some of the worst tokenomics on the planet, and this thing can just keep bleeding and bleeding. This is one I will stack before the bull run or as it occurs, I definitely want some ape coin. However, it could just keep bleeding because of its high inflation. So I will not be buying this after the unlock or probably anytime soon. I'm just going to let it bleed and bleed to new all time lows. I love that. Now, Aptos, the same exact thing. Aptos has horrible tokenomics, but this project is all world and it's proved itself right out of the gate. But there's a big unlock coming and this is one that I might buy as a swing trade. And then if it keeps going lower, I definitely want to own Aptos before the next bull run starts. Flow, another great project with bad tokenomics. So I have no doubt, guys, this thing's going lower unless some crazy news comes out to offset it. And I don't see any reason for it to bounce. And it's getting to the low and probably going to make a new low for this bear run. You got to love that. Now, Solana, in my opinion, guys, we have already came to the point a realization that Solana is not going anywhere. Some people might disagree, but the devs have stuck around. They're starting to get some big partnerships announced that are starting to look at Solana. And guys, for whatever reason, most developers absolutely love Solana. And I think they have a great future. And a lot of the hedge fund guys still talk positive about them. However, they have the FTX issue. And if you look, the biggest holdings for FTX was in Solana. And I can't read that re real well, but I believe that is $686 million worth of Solana that is about to be maybe hit the market because supposedly on September the 13th, I believe they are going to be allowed to start to sell off a large portion of the FTX holdings. According to this article, it says, what is the market impact as FTX prepares to liquidate 3.4 billion in cryptos? Well, guys, the biggest holding is in Solana. So if we're lucky, that is going to crash Solana. I hope it does. I hope it really hits it hard. And if we're lucky, we could go down and test this low of what? Just under $12. I would be stacking hard. Now, that being said, guys, if it does pull back at all, probably the next morning after the unlock, I might buy it as a swing trade. I think it's a great risk reward. And if it goes down hard, I'll stack and hold it and start unloading for the for the uh, bull run. Now, that being said, guys, if there's a 3.4 billion dollar unlock and they and they start dumping into the crypto market, that could pull everything down pretty hard. And from what I can tell, there's about 26 million, or no, what is that? 260 million dollars worth of Bitcoin that they can unload. So if Bitcoin gets hit hard, you know, that could be a big deal. That's not a ton of money, and Bitcoin could easily absorb that. But in this environment, guys, we could see the market go lower in the next couple of weeks. Now, when you read through the articles, there's not really 
any set amount or a time limit that the judge has allowed. So we really don't know how this is all going to play out. But I just wanted to bring that to your attention, especially when it comes to Solana. But look at this, guys. I really do want to own some Aptos. And there's a pretty good bit of FTX supply that could get dumped. Plus the unlock, Aptos could go to a new low in this bear market. And if that happens, I'll probably buy it as a swing trade and definitely start stacking it for the bull run. That's just me. Anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to let you know. If you're looking at any of these projects, I don't think there's any risk to wake up in the morning and it runs out from under you. And the odds are with these unlocks and in this environment, unless we get some big news this week, which could happen because this is a big news as far as the inflation numbers and, and uh, a lot of different numbers are coming out, something could move the market and Bitcoin could bounce and these projects could bounce with them. But guys, like I said, smart money is not going to buy going into an unlock. It doesn't make sense. So in my opinion, when you're in a recession, in a bear market, and all these are bleeding against Bitcoin, just let them bleed, guys. I'm not trying to pick the bottom, but, you know, there's no reason to buy right now. We got a long time before the halving. You know, who knows? what could happen and guys the probability is right now that bitcoin is going to go test its lows before it tests the highs of this bear market i could be wrong and we may miss everything that being said it's your money it's your decision i feel comfortable with the bags i have stacked already so i want lower prices to start stacking again but realistically, all of these projects, let's just say after the unlock, if someone started dollar cost averaging into those and dollar cost average out in the next bull run, I think they will be quite happy. That's not financial advice, but that's just my thoughts. Anyway, guys, I wanted to bring that to your attention and always go to token unlocks before you pull the trigger because it does matter. If you haven't subscribed please do so hit that like button let me know your thoughts in the comment section but either way guys come back and be part of this community take care